When you're hunkered down at home during a global pandemic, you've got to find ways to have some fun. And what could be more fun than filling the entire house with big model trains? I've got 19 G-scale locomotives in my model train collection, and I've set up quite a few of them today in a train yard here in my living room. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am married. And yes, she is here at home today. In fact, this was her idea. The entire system is controlled by what's known in the model train world as DCC, Digital Command Control. And that's a way more sophisticated way of operating trains than my dad used to do it back in the 1960s. Every one of these model trains can be controlled by a tablet or a cell phone. And let's say I want to control this one right here in front of me, number 707. All I have to do is select train number 707 on my tablet, and I've got full control of it. Let's turn on the sound. And now I can blow the train's steam whistle. Or I can turn on the bell. Now let's make it go. It's very easy to control the speed. I'll start it slow to make it realistic. Now we'll build up some speed. And now let's turn it up all the way to full speed. Personally, I like the whistle. I can sit here for a long time and just let the train run and blow the whistle. With this layout today, the trains go down the hallway and notice that there is just one set of tracks going down the hallway today. The train enters this room where I store all my extra track and model train equipment. The tracks in this room form what is known as a reversing loop. Basically what that means is the train comes into the room on the set of tracks in the hallway and the train leaves the room on that same set of tracks. So a minute ago it was going one direction down the tracks in the hallway and then it went through the big loop to come around and travel down the hallway in the reverse direction. That's a reversing loop. Now here, underneath and around my dining room table, is another reversing loop. The train enters the loop that way, and when it comes out of the loop, it is headed back down the main line in the hallway in the reverse direction again. So basically, the main line runs down the hallway, and at both ends of the main line, there are reversing loops. The train could just go back and forth all day. After a while, of course, that gets a little boring. So let's mix things up a little by throwing this switch here to take the train off the main line and send it back to a siding in the switchyard. We'll just park this one for a while and run a different one. How about we run the Santa Fe freight train, number 868? That's one of my favorite trains in my collection. Let's take it for a spin. So that's a pretty fun way to spend a day running model trains through the house. I can give each one a little bit of runtime and then put it back into the train yard and bring a different one out.
And by the way, if I want to back the train into the train yard, that's easy to do too because of those reversing loops. Now, notice here that I designed a special feature into the layout. You're probably wondering about that switch right there that seems to go to nowhere. Well, that makes it easy to expand the layout if I get bored with the layout as it is now and want to build it bigger. All I have to do is add on some tracks here, and then the trains can go out through the kitchen and into our garage. And over here at this part of the layout, it would be very easy to add more tracks here and take the trains right out that door and into the backyard. Now, if you'll stick with me here for just a minute, I think this is a great time for me to stop talking. I will get my GoPro out, I'll mount it onto some of the trains, and you'll get some great views from track level as the trains run on the layout. That's coming up right after this. Here's a train that everyone seems to love, including me, the Santa Fe Super Chief. show you how easy it is to back the train up into the train yard. trains, the White Pass Steam Train.
Thank you for spending some time with me while I spend the day at home here playing with model trains. Pretty great way to pass some time during a global pandemic. And listen, if you've got some time to kill, I've got plenty of other model train videos here on my YouTube channel. I'll put up links on the screen to a few of the most popular ones, plus a link to the one that explains in much greater detail how those reversing loops work. They're more complicated than you might imagine. 